Hey Sophie, what do you think of this? Wow, that's amazing! You're getting so much better at painting, Melanie. You think so? Yeah. I never seen you draw like this before. I'm making this picture for my mom because her birthday is coming up soon. Aw, that's wonderful. I bet she will love it. Marcus, can you come over here please? So I've been wanting to ask you this since September, but I keep forgetting. But is your name Oscar or Marcus? Because I notice on my list, it says your first name is Oscar. Oh, my first name is Oscar and my middle name is Marcus. But I like Marcus better than Oscar. Oh, it's like a nickname? Yeah. Got it. Thank you. Hey Sam, are you ready for the English test? Oh, yeah, I think I'll be able to handle it, I guess. Hope things go well for you as well. Are you sure Marcus is the guy who's been breaking into your house, Sam? He doesn't seem to be the type of guy to do that. I don't know. I've been getting a creepy vibe from him these past few months. I think I'd better keep away from him. Hey guys, what's up? Hey Tamara. Nothing really, we're just waiting for our next class. How about you? I'm in English class. I just need to get some water. Thank God I stayed up all night to finish that book report, or else I would have been toast. Sam, are you okay? You seem very nervous. She's worried because someone's been breaking into her house recently, and she thinks that person could be her lab partner, Marcus. Wait, Marcus. Isn't that the very quiet boy with the curly hair, big black glasses, and usually has dark clothes? Yes. That's him. Oh no. I understand why you're nervous. I've heard a lot of bad stuff about him. What? You need to tell us. Don't leave out any details. Well, I don't remember all of them. But I do remember there was one that happened during 10th grade. You will remember Bethany, right? Yeah. She was one of the sweetest, and the most popular girl in her grade back then. She met Marcus in math class. The teacher wanted them to work together for the day. They also believed he developed a crush on her during this time. As time passed, he made it quite clear to her that he liked her. He always bought her gifts, he never gave her space, that boy was all about her. Until one day, she actually told him this. Marcus, look. Everything that you got for me the past few days was very sweet, but... I see you more as a friend. It's nothing personal, it's just that I never felt anything sparked between us. Suddenly, Marcus goes completely nuts. And shows a side of him that no one has seen before. He begins yelling at her, calling her names, claiming that she will never find a good guy like him, and she lost her chance for a healthy relationship. He throws the flowers he bought for her on the floor, and storms off. Unfortunately, that wasn't the end of Marcus. He spread a rumor that he and Bethany were secretly dating for a couple of months, and that she cheated on him with three other guys before ending the relationship. And they believed him? Of course. The next few weeks got so bad for Bethany. There was never a day where she didn't get bullied, or where people never laughed at her. Even worse, her own friends believed Marcus's rumors. And sure enough, it was the end of their friendship. Eventually, Bethany transferred schools because the bullying got so bad that there was days where she didn't want to go to school. And no one ever heard from her again. Oh my god. Poor girl, that must have been so hard for her. Yeah, I seriously hope that doesn't happen with one of us. Oh man, look at the time. I got to run. Good luck Samantha. Oh no. I forgot my umbrella. Now what? Don't worry Mel. 
We can share mine. How does that sound? Thanks, Sophie. You're the best. So what should we do today? Go for a walk, go to a restaurant, or get some pizza? Wait, didn't we just have pizza yesterday? What the? Hmm. Maybe you're just imagining Sam. It. It was probably just. Just lightning. Maybe I'm just tired. In an hour, I'll head to bed. Okay, now this is just getting creepy. So I wasn't crazy. Guys, come on. Let's go now. Sam, what's going on? Let's just go now. Please. Hey, Sam. What's up? Run. Sam. Wait up. Hey. Wait for me. I'll be safe in here. Sam. What was that for? Why did you take off like that? I know who has been breaking into my house. I was doing my homework last night, trying to finish up that presentation for English. Then I heard the sound of a camera twice. One happened when I was in my bedroom. And the other happened after I was done taking my shower. Then while I was sleeping, I heard the sound of a crash. I was scared, but I eventually went to investigate. Then I saw my front door open. So he was able to escape before I came downstairs. The next morning, I saw a couple of footprints. And, a ripped piece of a brown jacket. It looked. Just like Marcus's. What? This is bad. Why is he doing this to you? You don't think. What? But I already have a boyfriend. You need to tell Henry about this. Now. Henry, there you are. Oh. Hey Sam. How's things going? Not so well. You see, I found out that the person who has been breaking into my house the past few months was Marcus. I found a ripped piece of his brown jacket in the yard this morning. What? I never thought Marcus would be the type of person who would do something like that. Don't worry, I got your back babe. He's not going to mess with you, or me. Hey Sam. What are you doing after school? Sorry, I don't think she wants to be bothered by you right now. Excuse me, she's my friend. I have the right to talk to her. 
You're not her father. No, but she's my girlfriend. We've been together for eight months now. What? What the? F Sam, you lied to me. I can't believe you led me on this entire time. You know what? You all can go to hell for what you did to me. Especially you Sam, you're just a I'm the nicest guy you'll ever meet and this is the way you treat me? You can go yourself. Don't listen to a word he says. You're an amazing person, Samantha. Never forget that. It's not that. It's just that after what happened to the other girl, I'm afraid of what will happen. What if he tries to do the same with me? If he does, it'll show what type of a guy he really is. Don't worry about losing us. We're always gonna be on your side, no matter what. Thanks, guys. I don't know what I would do without you. We're your friends. We always have been, and always will be.